All right, next question is from Con Nielsen. For athletes, what is a good balance between cardio, resistance training, and mobility training? Mm, this oh, depends on the sport. It does, right? If you're whatever sport you're doing, that most of your training should be practicing uh, that sport, playing that sport, uh, scrim- doing scrimmages. Splort. Yeah, I said that word. <laughs> I got that. It's because yeah. that is vocabulary. Sorry. Right. Yeah, what like is this that. word? It's so foreign. <laughs> uh, no, I, I've trained athletes. Shut up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Practice your sport. Uh, most often, that's where most of your workouts should uh, should be placed. Now, as far as strength training is concerned, depends on what you're doing. Uh, if and it depends on what your season looks like. If you're doing lots and lots of practice, I strength train with athletes once a week sometimes because they're doing so much other work, mm-hmm. mobility work daily, yeah. um, and not intense daily. Some days are intense, some days are easier. But every single day, we'd be working on mobility because mobility done properly. Uh, really attacks the main reason why athletes' performance may decline, uh, it, which has to do with just uh, poor movement patterns and injury. Dude, one hundred percent. This is I, if I could go back and, and redo my entire programming of my athletic career, I would place way more emphasis on strength and movement. And in in terms of like building a, a solid base is, I mean, it's really important to build that foundational strength. And so that has to be, you know, what you really focus on in the very beginning. But also, you know, once you get to that point, it's about how well, how effectively you can move, how explosive you can, you can move and how quickly you can stabilize on command. And you have to have, uh, you know, an even higher level of command over your body and healthy joints to be able to pull that off. And nothing addresses that better than you know, quality mobility practices and really focusing on strengthening uh, your range of motion. This is one of those questions. That this is really hard to answer because th- there's such an individual variance, like like many questions that we have to try and answer. Um, and, and you do, you have to really look at wh- where your shortcomings are in, as, as an athlete, because if you have a weak gas tank, then you, I would I would have you do more cardio. Um, let's say you're you're carrying an extra, you know, 15, 20 pounds that is not helping us out in your sport. You know, your sport is not a sport used like with leverage, like maybe wrestling or something like that. And then you being an extra 15, 20 pounds overweight, uh, I might have you on the treadmill doing more, more work to burn calories and burn body fat to get you leaner and lighter and work on your endurance because you lack there. If you're somebody who doesn't lack there so much, then it's, it's going to be less emphasis there. Uh, I, I agree. I think with both you on the mobility thing, I don't think anybody can do too much of that. I think that's something that uh, we can all be better at, and and I think uh, it's an area that a lot of athletes neglect. Um, but again, still, it, it really depends on how much of a limiting factor that is in your performance of of your sport, and and every sport is very different. So, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, it's a it's a tough one uh, to answer. Now, if you're just a person who uh, considers themselves athletic because they like to go pick a ball up every once in a while and play a sport, or they do athletic things, but then they also want to build muscle. Then I also have you know different advice for you. Like you, you have to understand there's going to be a give and take in everything. If you're, my sport is the number one focus, then like Sal alluded to, I might be only training you one day a week uh, in weight training because most of the time it's going to be geared around getting you better at your sport and and your skill. Uh, but if you're somebody who's just like, hey, I, I want to be an athletic person, but I also want to build a physique, well, then I might have you training two to three days a week yeah. in, when weightlifting with you know intermittently using cardio and using different drills to keep you athletic and mobile. And mobility is the one thing probably that we all would say in common of that just needs to be in there on, on a regular basis. For sports. Splort. 